Assalamu alaikum so today we are going to discuss the lymphatic drainage of upper limb so first of all we must know that there are two type of the lymphatic vessels which are involved in this lymphatic drainage so the first one are the superficial lymphatic vessels and the second one are the deep lymphatic vessels the superficial lymphatic vessels they will accompany the superficial veins like the basalic vein and the cephalic vein and these lymph deep lymphatic vessel they will accompany the deep veins like the brachial vein the radial vein and the ulnar vein so we will first see the superficial lymphatic vessels and then we will see the deep lymphatic vessels so first of all superficial lymphatic vessels so from superficial vessels the limb will either accompany the cephalic vein or the basalic vein we will write it here accompany cephalic vein and either they will accompany basalic vein as we have seen in the previous video that the cephalic vein drains the lateral side of leg and the basalic vein will drain the medial side i will write it down here it, it will drain the lateral side and it will drain the medial side of the leg so the limb from this cephalic vein the limb vessels that are accompany this cephalic vein it will drain directly into two type of lymph nodes which are the axillary lymph nodes the one are deltopectoral pectoral lymph nodes and the second one are apical axillary lymph nodes apical axillary lymph nodes and the lymph vessels that will accompany this basalic vein the lymph will first drain into the cubital lymph nodes which are present in the cubital fossa cubital lymph nodes these are present in the axilla so lymph is directly draining into the axilla but on this medial side the lymph will first drain into the cubital fossa the cubital lymph nodes and then from these cubital lymph nodes the lymph will move to the humeral axillary lymph nodes which are present in the axillary fossa humeral axillary lymph node now here we will see the deep lymph lymphatic vessels deep vessels so these deep vessels they will accompany brachial way up vein radial vein or the ulnar vein and from all these veins all these vessels which are accompanying these the lymph will ultimately drain to this humeral the lymph will ultimately drain to this humeral axillary lymph nodes now these are all the axillary lymph nodes so and as, as we will first write it collectively as them as axillary lymph nodes axillary lymph node these are all axillary lymph nodes and now as, as we have studied that the lymph from the axillary lymph nodes will then drain into the subclavian lymphatic trunk subclavian lymphatic trunk so this is the lymphatic drainage of the upper limb in the form of a flow chart now we can also easily solve the clinicals regarding this like if there is an infection on the medial side of the hand then we can assume that this will spread to the cubital fossa but it is on the lateral side it will directly move to the axilla so if the infection is in the cubital fossa then we can assume that the infection is on the medial side of the hand thank you